Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Hello everyone, I have finished charging the iLife robotic vacuum cleaner. Now this is just uh, staying in the base station and I'll just do the testing of uh, the vacuum cleaner, uh, how it works and how much uh, dust it's able or dirt it's able to collect. So here is I have the remote control uh, in my hand and if you see it has uh, options such as uh, clean plan clock so I haven't planned anything or programmed anything to do automatic cleaning at a set time daily instead I'll just uh, hit the clean button and start the robot and uh, we'll see that how it starts cleaning so let's start here Okay, so it looks like uh, the robot actually was just sleeping and it was not uh, on. So once I hit the clean button several times, that turned it on. As you can see that the light on the top is lit. And then I believe if I hit the clean another time, then it should start cleaning. Yes, it is. So I'll just uh, keep going. And following the vacuum cleaner, see how well it works. So it's going on the carpet right now and it's trying to get on the corner or just So it doesn't look like it uh, has any uh, mapped pattern or any program pattern to clean. It's just cleaning randomly here and there. But I believe um, at the end of the cycle, it will finish cleaning everything. So we have some wire here but it looks like yeah it was able to avoid it and then it's going to the bedroom I hope uh, go, go. yes so it went to the bedroom and there's another carpet here and it was able to glide through the carpet successfully actually it seems to be doing very well in the corner and I have it wired there, but it was able to... Oh, actually, look at that. It's just going underneath the night stand, which I would never reach with my regular uh, vacuum cleaner. That's very impressive. Uh, it went far, and right now it's struggling with the piece of wire. Actually, it got out of the wire, and it's even cleaning on top of the fan base, which is also very good.
but so far it's not doing that. It's just wandering around those places. It had already finished one time. Okay, so let's see what it does now. Okay, it looks like it might go there. Yes, it is. Okay, so it's on the, in the hallway. And let's see if it can pass through that towel right there. I have a feeling that it will not be able to, but we'll see. And there's another piece of carpet here. I'm just trying to do the edge. And there's another space here. And it's trying to finish this space as well. Or not somehow it's coming back. Okay, now we'll see. This is the washroom. And there's another piece of towel here. And let me see what it does here. Uh, okay, no, didn't go inside. And it's going back to that. Okay, it's not pushing it over. It's just concentrating on the same spot. And Okay, so it's pushing the carpet. It should come out of the space, but it's just staying there, moving around. Okay, now it rolled over. And let's see what happens here. Come on. Okay, so it's trying to Okay, somehow it avoided the rest of the carpet. And again, it's coming back to the same place. Going back to the same corner where it got stuck before.
Yes, that's what I want. Okay, so now it so looks like it is going to finish all parts of your home or condo. However, it just you know takes time because it has a tendency to going back same place over and over. Okay, so let's see if it's okay. Yes, there's a space there, and it looks like it's trying to get in there. And oh, somehow it didn't go inside. But I have a feeling that it's gonna go back and try that space it missed later. Okay, so now let's see what happens here because here there's the carpet or a piece of uh, towel I wanted to see. Okay, uh, come on, come on, come on, okay. In the washroom, okay, it's gonna get stuck here for sure. See, that's the this type of uh, small towel it cannot glide over it's just pushing it away and then okay so it's coming back again it didn't go up to that door okay so what i'll do uh, i'm not gonna wait until the whole thing it finishes uh, the whole uh, unit so I'm going to just open up uh, the uh, bin uh, dust bin or where it's gathering all the dirt and we'll show you how the how much dirt it gathered and then I'm gonna look on the brush uh, the rolling brush to see how much hair it gathered actually the space it missed before it's going back there so it does its job, but it's just, you know, uh, does it after a while. And this time, looks like it's not doing the edge. It's just kind of doing the middle. So I have a feeling that it's going to come back and try to do the edge before. I mean, edge uh, later on. So it's going back to the washroom side again. No, now it's going straight which I was hoping for a long time. Let's see what happened here. See, the same problem with the towel. It got stuck here. It cannot glide over the towel and it's avoiding that area. But however, I'm, I have a feeling that it's gonna come back and try to do that again. And here it came back and trying to push the towel, but nothing is happening. It's coming back and it's going back to that, towards the living room section again. Okay, so at this point, what I'll do, I'll just uh, turn, uh, hit the home and see if it can reach home on its own. Okay, so here we have home. I placed home and let's see what happens here. So it should go back to its home. So it got kind of slow and looks like it's heading towards home. Uh, let's see what's happening here okay yes it's following the right direction so it is heading towards home but somehow it became very slow so most likely it's not trying to do the cleaning it's just trying to heading towards the base station or home which is a little bit further away and we'll just follow it to the home and see what happens. Okay, it's actually avoiding that section. I probably is going to try to do it again. Okay, it got stuck in here. So it's coming back and forward, back and forward. Okay, it's going around. That's what it should do. So instead of doing that, it's just trying to push onto the edge. Okay, so now still it's coming back and forward. All this, it has, it has to do just slightly move towards the left and go home. But it's, instead of doing that, 
is just coming back and forth. So it keeps repeating itself here. Okay, now it moves slightly over towards the left, but it's gonna get bumped again. All it has to do just go towards the left a little bit, but it's not doing that. Okay. So what's gonna happen here? I know it will be able to do it eventually, but I'm gonna just push it over because it's making the video much longer than I anticipated. So okay, let's push it over and now see what happens. Hopefully it will be able to reach its home without Okay, yes, it's going back to the home, gliding over the carpet. Okay, now it is heading towards home, although I pushed it a little bit. So, hadn't I pushed it, I guess it would be there eventually. However, it's gonna take much longer, which I didn't want to. That's why I pushed it a little bit. And now we can see that it's heading towards home. And then I'm gonna wait until it parks, it parks itself on the dock, and then I'll take out the dust bin, uh, the bin pan, and see what happens here. Okay, yes, so it's going towards home. It's trying to park there. Yes, it did successfully. Okay, so now what I'll do, I'll turn off the unit. There should be a switch right here let's turn it off okay so I turn it off then I'm going to take it out of here and the first thing I'll do I'll uh, look at the brush okay so I don't know if you can see here I see lots of hair so it gathered lots of hair and let me just try to take out this hair. So it did a pretty good job, otherwise this hair wouldn't be here. So it has some hair and uh, some uh, thread and looks like other stuff. I even don't know what are those. So these are long hair and we have There might be other way of doing it, uh, but because I haven't gone through the whole manual yet, I haven't read the instruction manual, so I don't know if there's any other way to remove or clean the brush. So I'm just doing it kind of common sense way, just you know pulling them out using my uh, my fingers, and I can as you can see there's a lot of hair in here, and I'll show you once I finish everything okay so these here I, I didn't see in my eye so it was able to pick it up from the mainly probably carpet and other places so it did a good job doing that okay I think I cleaned it pretty much good so what I'll do okay uh, here so lots of hair in here see okay so I'll put this in the garbage and then I'll just open the bean pan to show you how much uh, dust it collected so here should be okay here so we got the, there should be okay I don't know where is this okay so I can see, as you can see it's full of dust in here and 
I don't know how to open this one, but let's try this way. So it looks like it's gonna be like, like this. Yes, okay, so what I'll do, I'll hold it with my feet. Okay, here. This is amazing, look at this one. Look at the dust. Probably ran for, I don't know how long, like maybe uh, 10, 20 minutes and all the dust it gathered. So yeah, as you can see, it does a good job. However, it just keeps, you know, hovering around the same place over and over, but eventually it's gonna finish everything. And it has problem with very, uh, a very light or thin rug or towel. So if you have those in your home, that it's better to remove them before uh, starting the starting cleaning. And the price you're gonna be paying for this, which is a fraction of the iRobot Roomba. So these uh, are on sale for let's say somewhere between uh, two fifty to three four hundred dollars. The unit I bought is called iLife and I believe this is going for uh, $250 on Amazon. However, there are other similar brands which go for three to $400. So comparing the price I paid, not $1,000 like uh, Roomba, I cannot complain. Uh, it's doing a pretty good job and uh, you know, I'm happy with the purchase. And again, I paid uh, everything with my own money. This is not a paid review or anything. So what you are getting uh, is unbiased and honest opinion. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and there will be more videos coming up. So consider subscribing and I'll see you shortly. Bye.